And now, a few words from Murfreesboro Mayor Jackie Prowls. Hey, Murfreesboro, this is your mayor, uh, Jackie Bros, and I'm 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 gonna tell you right now, I'm proud to be talking to you today on here. Hope you listen, and I and I'm I'm happy to share some great, wonderful news. Now let me explain this to you. We are all concerned about the new area, the Laverne and Smyrna area. There's lots of rumors going around. A lot of people saying this, saying that. That uh, these businesses, some some Murfreesboro business, or one in particular, was going to be moving there. And there were people saying, "Well, I ain't going to drive that far, and that's Murfreesboro jobs and all this." And I'm let me tell you right now, because I heard my constituents speak, I I listen, I look into it, and once I look into it, I figure it out. Now I gave these this company some some. Uh, tax breaks and you know just we we sat down and negotiated by your stuff business stuff but we got it worked out so let i'm proud to announce right now gentlemen gems too will not be going to the smyrna laverne area uh it's not happening it's always going to be here uh on the other side of town gentlemen gems one that's not going into a place either that's still of course the Le- smyrna laverne wouldn't want that one but gentlemen gems two that's another story, and the end of that story is they're going to stay here. They're staying with Murfreesboro, who worked out, got good bartending jobs, hostess there. Uh, sometimes Eddie out front, park your car, all of these things. You drive you home if you pay them enough. But all these, these, these are secure jobs here in Murfreesboro, not going anywhere. Uh, proud to say it, and I'm going to do my best to keep as many jobs here in Murfreesboro as I can. And as your mayor, that's I have every intention to do so, and I'll continue to do so. I'm happy to say that. Uh, mayor Broles. Uh, what? What? Hey, it's uh, Dunlap from You're the Dunlap News Journal. You're not supposed to drink Journal. in the mayor's office. Hmm? You're not. Sp- what? I'm in the press. What? That? I'm a member of the press. I can drink wherever I want. That was in the 60s. I, I went to journalism school. Oh, you didn't. And they told me. That if I didn't have a drinking problem, I needed to develop one. That's where they used to be. They, nowadays, they, they got to be pretty to be on TV. But that's right, we're on this talk. That's for the mainstream. That's for the lamestream. Whatever media. it is, what do you want? Hey, uh, about this, uh, your jobs plan, huh? That sounds pretty cool. You're it's keeping just, a lot of jobs here in Murfreesboro. That's Broyles' uh, jobs plan. Uh, off to a... Uh, a good start, I think. I'm I'm Because this is like the fortieth business you've got to stay here in Murfreesboro. You've had uh, press conference after press conference saying, Oh, now this business gonna stay here. Well how m- much money are you spending to keep these businesses here? Because to me it seems like right. when Toots says they were gonna pull up stakes. Toots is a real business here in Murfreesboro. Yeah, the ladies hold the hoop air in their shorts. Yeah, you know, it's sort of like I don't like going there myself. Feel like Hooters. Awkward. It is awkward when they come over to you and in the shorts. It's like Hooters, but it ain't. It's called Toots. Yeah. Was it at one point called Tooters or is that an urban legend? I don't remember being called Tooters. Far my back, I can remember. It's always Toots. All right. Well, Toots is a real business here in Murfreesboro, folks. You can Google that. Good and wings. You got make good wings, but I felt awkward going in there because as soon as you walk in, it's ladies. Let me hula hoop for you. Well, they don't rub it up on you. I know they. I never said that. They never said hula hooping up on the table. I want to eat. That's not. I get it to go. People go there after church. He's making it seem like something's going on there, and ain't nothing going on. Some people don't. I'm just saying it. Hula hooping. I have dated or and or taken pictures through the window of plenty of women who work there. Right. And they are decent, All right. hard hula hooping women. They're nice. I ain't got nothing against them. They're fine. I just f- awkward for me personally. Well, when Toots announced that they were moving to Smyrna Laverne area, the rumor is that you owe them four hundred thousand dollars in tax breaks and hula hoops. What? I... Now look, and it seems to me that you made Toots well, that... a deal. Well, I just let me say it now. 
these negotiations are private. Uh, I, there was talk of Toots moving to the uh, Smyrna Laverne area, uh, but w- whatever happened, that's 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 all business. What did you promise, old books? I didn't what old books? Old books said they announced they give this press conference and they did a big thing where they they picked up what they said. This is the oldest book we got, and that's saying something because some of them books they got are. Oh, yeah. they are old books. Some of them are just piles of dust. It looked like a fire. You ever seen a book that was so old it looked like it burned up, but that's just the way it is because of age? Well, either way, now look, old books is over off a of new square, which we hope is going to be a thriving uh, have a thriving economy, more more jobs that we. If old book goes, then uh, most of New Square will go. So we need to we need to keep that open and thriving. What do you promise, Peanut Pockets Express? Well, where little peanut or little pockets throws peanuts at your car as you go through drive through. Peanut through, Pockets yeah. Express, they were gonna move to Smyrna Laverne area. Well, did you give them four hundred thousand? The rumor is, Jackie, that you also cut a deal with Gun Sonic. With skunkies, uh, you would not cut a deal with Bad Cup or Handful. Is no. the no. rumor? Yes, that's, if she wants to go to Laverne, maybe they like that sort of thing in Laverne, Smyrna area. That's if you like green beans. If you think that's a surprise to you, if you think oh, what's what's for dinner, and someone says green beans, and you go oh oh boy, I'm excited now, then. They go. They hopefully they're like that, Levar and Smyrna, because I just don't. I don't Sounds think that's a surprise. Sounds to me like you cut a sweetheart deal with one of the Murfreesboro companies, and every other joint in Murfreesboro lined up with their hands out and said, "What you gonna give me to stay here in Murfreesboro, Mayor Jackie Brawls? Hey, that's my job to keep uh, uh, jobs here how in Murfreesboro. Much, that's it's my responsibility, and that's what I'm gonna do. How much money you got left from what them Nashville lawyers paid you? Well, that's, I, you know, I'm mayor now, and I'm going to get whatever this pays. You I haven't got a paycheck yet. all your money. Well, I'm giving it to damn Pete, little, Pete, little, little peanut pocket. Well, those are big. Uh, children love going in there and get peanuts thrown at them. And uh, you pull through, you got to, you got to, as you pull out, you get the vacuum, vacuum it out if you want to. It's like, you know. You got to run. Wash, if you want it that way, it's however you want it. You're going to get peanuts thrown at you one way or the other. They, people, it, first drive through that charges you more if you have your windows down. Well, either, in, either way. I don't know. I'm not saying there's drive throughs that charge you for keeping your windows up, but they may be. I, I'm just saying there's a if you keep it down, they charge you for them peanuts. Well, that's what people like that sort of thing. And, and it's a, been a thriving business since it's been here. Uh, I know some young people who work there. Uh, got some good arms on them. Uh, they, I'm glad that I'm going to keep this here. And if it's, I'm mayor, it's my job to keep these jobs and keep the economy going good. So you got to do whatever you got to do. Like I said, they, you know, once a time ago, Nashville lawyers, offices, and Nashville lawyer, law offices, and Nashville lawyers, hot chicken now, they. We made a nice little deal there, and if I could, if I can put that back into the, if I could use that to help uh, my fellow Murphys burrowing, then that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, what are we called, burrowings? And Murphys burrow, or a wrench. Murphys burrow. I never heard. I never heard it put. Murphys bullions. How do you? I don't know how you say it right. You're the mayor. Well, I've learned. I'm off to a good start of keeping all these jobs here. I learned but now how to say you that broke right. as hell again. I, I get paid something for this. Did you have to dip in them coffee cans you got buried in the backyard? Oh, shut your mouth. I got it. The mayor pays something I don't know yet. I, to be quite honest, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to about that. So if you listen to me, have we work that out? I don't know. I don't like some direct deposits. People try that all the time. Saying, hey, you ain't getting in my bank. I ain't letting you in there. So I don't know how to do it. The uh, government tries to give it to you every which way. But uh, uh, whoever it is, wherever I need to go, I guess I just need to go there and figure out how to. But that's, you know, this pays something. People don't run for it for nothing. Mayor Jackie. All right. I have another question about. All right. Just 
current events and the scandals that plague your administration. I heard that scandals. you and your naivete, big idiot, thinking he's a mayor, answer, I, answers the phone, and guess who's on the other end? I talk to all sorts of people on the phone as a mayor. Oh, big man, getting phone calls day and night. Well, Who wants to when, talk to you, the mayor of Murfreesboro? You talking to me, ain't you? It's my damn job, oh, and that's well, why it's a lot I of other drink. People. It's a, a lot of other people, yeah, just keep drinking. I'd rather you drink over there by yourself and talk to me. I tell you who talks to you. Everybody lined up outside. Everybody owns a damn uh, squeegee. Runs out to your car. And says, "Give me a quarter. I'll wash this that. window." And then they turn around to you. Go. I'm gonna go to Smyrna Laverne area, well, Mayor Jackie. If you don't give me fifty cents, and well, if they gonna be like that, they go on with the bag, cup, and handful. They are gonna need something else. I reckon, but I. As far as that's concerned, I think I got to, enough to keep my economy and jobs here. Now, everybody get to, I'll deal with that when I cross that bridge when I get to it. Well, I heard you talked, you took two phone calls. I take I heard you two. talked to Rio McElroy from Hoseboro. Well. And that got the damn Murfreesboro Ball Water Association breathing down your neck. Well, they, I could, I'm mayor, I'm going to talk to who I need to talk to. And then I heard you talk to... Take a call, a congratulatory call from Cobbler Gobbler. Well, that, I wouldn't call that what that was. It's not what it was. And then the all. damn Cobbler man got mad at you. Called you up, cussed you out. He get mad at everybody. I thought maybe for the first time when I heard it was him on the phone, I thought maybe for the first time going to get a little respect. A mayor, you know, or something like that. Or he was going to threaten to go to the Smyrna area, one of the two. You know, well... It, well, it's ever what it was, I don't remember, because it was just awful language and cussing up and down. I'm surprised I listened to it as long as I did, to be honest with you. I remember that that afternoon, you were still a little shell-shocked. Well, it, you, the words that you bad, I'm next to you, and you're bad all the time. There's nothing compared to that. He is the meanest, sorriest excuse for a human being, and will say whatever he needs to say to hurt your feelings. It don't matter what it is, whether he you're an old man, a little girl, or whoever. Reach into your childhood and pull off, pull out half remembered things that can reduce you to tears in seconds. Somehow, it's it's amazing how he does. You remember Hannibal Lecter in Silence of the Lambs, and he's like, oh, "Are the lambs still? You know, whatever. I don't know what he was talking about, but it, it hurt her, hurt her feelings. It's kind of like that, except he doesn't eat people. He makes real good cobbler. That's the difference." So it sounds like you just blundering through. I ain't blundering through Answering the phone every time it rains. You go talk to every one of those uh, uh, people on the phone, and you go talk to every one of those businesses that no longer go to the Smyrna Laverne area that is going to stay secure here and thrive here in Murfreesboro. You you go talk to them. Don't well, talk to me. You need a secretary, first of all. That keeps you from talking to people well, you ain't supposed I got, to. Uh, Sis is learning. Sis at little sis at race guard. She's learning. You, nobody won't. That's not who you want answering the phone. She's going to prophesy. Well, if you hear a little bit of Jesus on the phone, so it be it. Jesus. I don't well, know what she's talking Well, it's something like it. She'll say that something revelation or something. It's something. It sounds like Bible stuff if it ain't. It is bloody. But she's doing fine. She can file stuff. And I say call, she knows what button to hit to call. She's working. It's going to take some time, but that's I what. I think that's sexist. You make a little girl your secretary. I, why she, she want to be a, I didn't. If Truck Jekyll ain't going to be no secretary. First off, he puts the phone in his mouth if he try to answer it. So that's just out right there. That ain't he What ain't, about the feral kid from the Christmas cave? Well, he's half wild. He'd be screaming and hollering answering the phone. That'd be worse than her what she says. At least you can make out what she's saying. You really... You really need a better staff. Well, these youngins, that's part of me giving back to Murphy, brother. These youngins just be on the streets out out there on their own or with awful parents, and I don't mind saying that right now. Sorry, sis, your parents are awful. I think she's safer here than she would be anywhere else. I mean, you make the Trump administration look like damn West Wing. What? And furthermore, speaking of scandal, I heard that the police rounded up. This is a little bit like hee-haw. Hey, uh, Grandpa, I heard that the police come by 
and round it up, Mr. Drim. Now, Don, knew you was going to bring that up. Now, it, first off, let me make it perfectly clear here. The police had some questioning. We had a few questions asked, Mr. Drim. Uh, it had all of these questions. Not one of them had anything to do with, with the Klan. None of them. So no. you're saying, like, the other early members of your administration who were all apparently well, in the Klan. They were in a, and soon, Allegedly, unbeknownst to you. As soon as I found out, they hit the road. I sent them packing. Go on down here. I ain't going to have nobody. And Mr. Dribb, so far, I checked, you know, looked into it, didn't hear anything about it. So far, so good. Now, there was some sort of incident. I don't know all the particulars of this, but they wanted to take him down there. The reason they take people down there sometimes is to rule them out. It ain't to try to get them. It's to make sure that that ain't the one that you're looking for. And that's what this case was. So they took him in, they took some fingerprints, and they sent him on his way. You mean feather prints? Oh, don't start that shit. You, I can't help it if your administration is... Haunted children and bird people. All right. It, Mr. Dreb ain't a bird person. If there was a bird person working here, it, I'd pick somebody else out before it was uh, Mr. Dreb. Well, he's bringing in his cronies. Well, it's part of his job is to bring certain people in but and handle certain things. he's staffing it with all bird people. Oh, this is a bunch of bull, bull bird people. It's <laughs> a bunch of made-up hogwash, oh. and you sitting there saying that, we're learning all... Uh, Every day about made-up news. Every day and how yep. supposedly some of it's true and then some of it's awful. A lot of it comes from me. And you, Well. Damn, look here, Jackie. I just got on my phone. I just got a, a news alert. It says here that the mayor of Smyrna Laverne area just announced an exciting new business opening up there soon. What? That's not what? Gentleman Jim's three. Gentlemen, Jim's three. How much you pay them to stay here? Well, I didn't know there was a three. Nobody told me there's three. I was one and two. Those are two I kept here. Well, one ain't going nowhere. They, they, nobody wants nobody that. Nobody wants it. But uh, Gentleman, Jim's two is three. That three's all new. They just opened it up there in Smyrna Laverne area. That's the first Gentleman, Jim's three. Although I think they almost. They they went they had to decide between whether it was going to be Gentleman Jim's two uh, one or Gentleman Jim's three and they went with Gentleman Jim's three. Wow. They couldn't open up another Gentleman Jim's two in Smyrna Laverne area because uh, well like, because of me I took yeah, care of that. Yeah, you gave them I, all that money. Well, so they did. had to open up a, a Gentleman Jim's three. It was negotiating. You say give money. It's not all it is. You do some talking before that. They're gonna keep Gentleman Jim's two here, but with a, a skeleton crew. Skeletons. It's mostly just for, you know, Mother's Day. They're going to open it up on Mother's what? Day. Valentine's. That's special gone. events. When, just when there's spillover from Gentleman Jim's one. But if you want to go to the good Gentleman Jim's, you going to want to go to Smyrna Laverne area. No, you don't. That's too far to drive. You don't want to drive that far and go up there and get to drinking. Well, that's what the mayor of Smyr mayor Smyrna Laverne area says. Get you a hotel room. Stay all night. Well... He can do whatever the hell he wants to. My, my Murfreesboro constituents, they like to drink and where it's home, close to home, where it's safe. They, if they get mad at the boss or if they fighting with the wife or whatever it is and they want to go someplace and drink in silence, that's Jim and Jim's too. That's where you go. It says here they got that bad cup or a handful is experiencing record crowds. I guess people like green beans in Laverne Square. I guess so. I mean, and I like green beans, but it ain't. There ain't nothing surprising of it. Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Sup, fuckers? Welcome to the Dunlap News Journal, your home for Murfreesboro news, 
views and news. And now, here's some uh, fake news, racist claptrap, and God damn it, every time, and free seeds. What is it? I'm excited to start giving away free seeds to get people ready for springtime. Free seeds? Flowers, lettuce. Where are you getting them from? Hmm? Where are you getting seeds to give away? You ever been in a co-op? Nobody watches what you do in there. You can oh, walk out of there. I don't need to just... I walk out of there looking like a damn Michelin man just full of like bib lettuce seeds. Stealing seeds. That's your yeah, I'm stealing low seeds. as it when the zombie apocalypse happens, you'll be like, how are we going to grow seeds now? Because there's zombies in front of the garden center at Walmart. Well, you come to me because I'm like that place that stores all the seeds for mm. after nuclear war. Except here in Murfreesboro, local, and I only charge you $5 for some radishes. I used to think that silly zombie monster come and get everybody. But with what I say in the news lately, I... Hell, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I really don't know from day to day. Trump could come out and say, I created zombies. They're going to come eat you. And half the country be like, well, it's about time somebody made a monster come eat me. Yeah. Thank God for Trump. MAGA. Yep. Hashtag MAGA. What is it? MAGA. Hashtag. Make America great again. What is it? Mag, mag, MAGA. I want to thank Mayor Jackie Brawls for coming down here on the I big, didn't get you to stay here. We the big weekly show. Where you where leave where this up. Just, I like to ask. I think it's important for citizens of Murfreesboro to get a sense of what our corrupt leader feels about oh, shut your mouth. the issues of the day. So just, we just like to... to you like already to, called me all that stuff just a few minutes ago. This part, just just ask me questions if that's what you want to do. Oh, here we go again, whining about the press. Why don't you tweet about it, son? I ain't whining about Trump. the press, whining about you. I don't know how to tweet. tweet. I don't know first thing about it. That's why I talk on this. Mayor Jackie, I'd like to get you on record. What are your thoughts about Pizzagate? What is it? Pizza Gate. I don't. Is somebody tried to shoot up Pizza Place, right? You crazy. It ain't that simple. Well, maybe it is that simple. That's what it sounds like to me. Crazy people walk in at places every day. And, yes, and but shoot. Jackie, they he thought he was rescuing. Um. There's two scenarios here. Either he thought because he's been uh, reading online. About a sex ring, wow. child sex slaves. That's awful. That John Podesta and Hillary Clinton been running this elite sex slave ring out of the back of a Washington, D.C. pizza parlor. What? This all come to light in WikiLeaks if you know how to read it. It ain't Wiki. like you just go down to the magazine stand say i'll take a red book please and then you flip through that and go well i read a magazine no sir you got to know how to decipher things when the elite media john podesta writes an email and uh. you're like well that was he he didn't say nothing in there wrong allegedly he's talking about sex with children the whole way through you wonder how people go well what happened why let's let's Look back and try to figure out why Hillary Clinton lost this election. Well, maybe if she spent a little more time campaigning in Wisconsin and a little less time running a child sex ring, that's, maybe we'd be looking at a different scenario. That's today. awful. Now, I don't believe there's plenty of horrible things about the Clintons and other stuff that's not true, but it is at least believable that you could use than that. The real life is bad enough. Why she ain't what she molest the children? What? She can't even send an email without getting called before Congress. How's she gonna do something to a child? That don't make a bit of sense. And listen. The other scenario is that I forgot where I was going with that. When I said there were two scenarios, I was headed somewhere. The second scenario, I don't remember what it was. Well, it wasn't that it's true. That couldn't be that because that's, that's a bunch of bull. You don't, you have to 
Jackie, let me give you some tips on how to run a fake news website uh-huh. in uh, in 2016. It's impossible because you can't compete with real life. Now, I don't know how this got started. Did somebody, I'm sure somebody's going to come out with it, like, oh, well, so, some people were trolling. Was it assholes making shit up, and then people start taking it seriously, or were there crazy people at first who started saying it? I don't know. I don't know. Does it matter? I think we're at a point where trolling equals truth. Like, there is no truth. But if feelings are all that matters and somebody trolls you and makes you upset, then that's the reality. Well, Whatever. being upset and getting a gun going somewhere, that's a little different there. But, that, that, you know. But let's just, let's just say, what if he actually had rescued some child sex slaves from that pizza place? We'd all be singing a different tune today, wouldn't we? Well, if he'd have gone in there and blowed the door open, kicked it in, and saved all them children, then yeah, yeah. Maybe we should ban movies. Movies? It's it, maybe we should maybe we should ban the internet. Move, maybe we should put the Amish in charge. Well, I wouldn't miss a, a computer. I don't, I'd like a good movie every now and then, but I'd, you know. Well, why can't we just sit around the campfire and talk about the Bible instead? Well, ain't, ain't nobody going to do that in the right mind these days. People don't do that sort of thing. People I, used to, but not, not anymore. I imagine a world where the United States government and their high-tech weaponry enslaves us all in an Amish-style uh no tech paradise where all we do is woodworking and Bible study and hat swapping. I don't, none of that sounds bad to me. I, I don't know if I'd mind that too much. You won't get real kinky where all we're here combing each other's beards. Well, I like horse and buggy. I like it. I saw an ankle the other day. I saw an ankle and I had to punch myself in the nuts and tell my. All right, shut your mouth. I ain't going to listen to that. Stop thinking them thoughts. Would that be so bad? It's better. Everything you describe is better than reading something crazy on on a computer and going to a pizza place with a gun. Let me tell you, this guy, he stayed up all night. He was reading about damn Pizzagate. He thinks Julian Assange uh, is. Tried to is sending out secret messages that John Podesta uh, crafted, uh, creating this. That's just gro- I can understand how John Podesta. You know how sometimes you like, oh, I can't look. I don't want to look at that car accident. Then you look anyway. It's like I don't want to imagine John Podesta having sex, and then you you do anyway, and then you just make it even worse. All right. Are, are they saying? I see. I didn't get too much into it. Are they saying that they're just running it for the money, or that they're into having sex with children too? Hell, I don't know. Both is bad. Both is crazy. I don't know first thing about any of that stuff. I, I don't you know the ancient international symbols of child sex rings? What? They're all around you if you look. I don't know the first thing about it. Sex, child, no. Well, I'm surprised, Jackie. Everybody knows what cheese means. What is it? Everybody knows what cheese means. Cheese? Look, we're sitting here making fun of this. Like, you can't even get dumber than what real life is or crazier. There's no way. We don't even have the tools to to express how insane all this is. We're sitting here going, wow, this is crazy. But it happened. It happened. It's going to happen again. People believe this stuff. They think now the guy who went in there with the gun, the crazy guy who went in there with the gun, they've all turned on him because they think he's a fucking nerd. Uh, Actor. Why? He's one of them tragedy actors. Why do they call him? Like the the actors that go around, you know, from the Sandy Hook. You may you may remember me from such national tragedies as the Sandy Hook shooting. The more stuff you read, that crazy you gonna get. All that stuff's crazy talk. Do they get sag? Do they like get residuals? I don't know. Like if you are a uh, an actor from one of these tragedies, like a school shooting or whatever, or the Boston bomb and whatever. And they replay, like, on the anniversary, like on CNN. Do you get residuals when they show, like, your hand blown off or whatever? If you're an amputee, I'm just saying look into the uh, 
tragedy actor business because yeah. they, they, they're they going to need you pretty soon. If you are if you could pass for Syrian and you're missing a limb, folks, think about show business. I'm glad the people like it have something to do. Yeah, give, they need work. Yeah, those less fortunate than us should always have a you know option, place of business. I think. Yeah. I've been trying to run this fake news website. It's impossible to compete with. With the actual fake news. I'm trying to outdo the fake news. Be like, oh, I got all this. Like, You can't do it. The reality has has passed us by long ago, Jackie. We are done. That's why I'm getting into the seed business. I'm going more the grit route. All right. Now, what I do know a little bit, what you talked about, the crazy man went in there and shot something. I didn't know what was for or anything like it. But they're saying oh, Trump's. What is it? Sec- Secretary of Defense? Where- Flynn? Flynn, right? Flynn's son. He he told this man to go there or something like Flynn. that? I don't know. Flynn is a big conspiracy buff. It's not like Donald Trump ain't a conspiracy buff. That's how he got famous. I mean, he got famous for being a rich asshole. It was the 80s. And then he got into politics because he said Obama wasn't born in this country. That's how he got into politics, was conspiracy theories. Oh, well, yeah. That's true. That's what? like, damn, Lincoln working as a lawyer or what, like the birth, the birthplace. It's like Alexander Hamilton writing his way out of that hurricane or whatever. It's like Trump's was tweeting that the black president wasn't born here. George Washington, I cannot tell a lie. Donald Trump, like, I don't even know what the truth is. Yeah. Send. That's it, man. And I guess his son is even more of a conspiracy buff. Is that what they're saying? Well, like Flynn Jr.? Down. Well, they said he had security clearance in the White House. Yes, so. he's on Twitter defending this stuff. Well, they said, again, all that Klan, so white supremacist stuff like that. That just... Yeah. Can we just get rid of Twitter? We don't have to go to Amish world, like West world. That's just more start. boring. I don't, let, let me tell you something. For someone who don't know what it is outside of Funny Fred Thompson, I have to hear about it every day. It's worse on me. I don't even know what it is. No, you can't. I know there's been a lot of good things that happened from Twitter. A lot of people well, of color found their voices. We, we, we sort of woke up. We got more woke as a nation on the one hand, but then on the other hand, Nazis. Is that just a? Re- is everything just a reaction to each other, right? It's like in Gotham City, like Batman comes along and now they're super villains. So it's is it because that black people were on Twitter saying, "Hey, stop shooting us!" That now we have Nazis, or no, we always pretty much had Nazis. They've always been there. Yeah. Then now they're just more popular. Is what yeah. it is. They say, "Oh, well, they ain't go nowhere." They used to just go on Geraldo get the chair thrown at him or something that like that. Good. It, it, where was that on old old uh, the man I don't like New York St- Stearns? Old St- Stearns, he talked filthy. He he used that's what the Klan used to be. He'd go on there and talk dumb and he'd laugh at him. That was a job. That's what it's for years. And now you know now it's just you know it's a popular thing evidently. So there's no, so conspiracy theories are, well, I mean, Trump still says conspiracy. It ain't like he's still not. He's no, he just said that the election was illegal. <laughs> the people, was the whole election was legal, and he won it, too. He's still mad. I mean, let's be honest. People say, did is racism what got Trump elected? I mean, half the people who voted for Trump, think Hillary Clinton killed people. Yeah. I mean, we're not 100% sure she... All we're going to say is, that makes more sense to me than her running a a business. Well, like I said, the stuff that, even if it's not true, is certainly more believable. Why That seemed to be working for you. Why'd you got to make up pizza and chilling? That's just awful. Like... I can, having somebody murdered, that's just like making a phone call, dropping off a briefcase full of money. 
I'm sure they got the whole scenario somewhere online if I wanted to read it. It may not even be online. You may have to get like a pamphlet from the 90s, like sent to a P.O. box. Now, there's that. That's, you know, that I said, never said I put anything past it. The other thing is believable what the, you know, a woman, you know, she didn't know how to work computers good. Right, because she's a woman. I didn't say that. I said she she didn't know how to work computers good. And not, I didn't say she's because she's old. I didn't say because she, she's a woman. I For just, whatever reason, she don't know how to work computers good, and that's how emails get out. I just don't think that you're going to be able to operate a business deal with all these moving parts, and you got, uh, you're having to deal with the pizza place. You're having to deal with John Podesta. you got clients coming in and out. Plus, there's the actual human trafficking, and then there's – the money, where's the money going? It's just a headache, and you're running for president, and you got Bill Clinton up in your business. I guess he's part of it too, though. I guess he was helping helping run it. That's like the, you know, you open up a antique store, and your retired husband comes in all the time. Like, well, well, we put this rocking chair in the window. I think people like that rocking chair. It just seems like a lot for somebody who can't even do email. Yeah. Now, if you want to have somebody murdered, you just tell a state trooper, hey, go take care of this, whatever. That's easy. Anybody, yeah, unfortunately, people get, you know, get killed that way all the time. You know. Look, we don't have to tell y'all how hard it is to run a small business in this country. I just can't believe. Now, she was tired. That's true. It takes a lot out of you. Trying uh, having two jobs. I'm going to say I'm 75% sure she was not running a child sex ring. And don't, like I said, there's other stuff you can say than that. That's just, yeah, no. Meanwhile, like we don't know anything about Trump's businesses He's not telling us anything about his tax returns. He's answering the phone when Taiwan calls. Now, I heard that Bob Dole put him up to that. Bob Dole was like... That's what I heard. She said, call, you get on the phone and call Taiwan. At least that's what they're saying now. I don't know what happened for real. They said Bob Dole uh, it was behind all that. How is who? How's Bob Dole even talking to Trump? Hell if I know. I guess Trump just talks to anybody that calls. He talked to Al Gore. Oh, what do you think about that, Jackie? Uh, just when you couldn't hate him worse. And I told everybody he's a loudmouth Yankee liberal, racist liberal, worst kind. And then look at look at see it's all happening now. Can you imagine? If everywhere, just imagine if he just hired him to be like his Otis, like his Lex Luthor and Otis. And so every time you looked at Trump, you had to look at Al Gore. Uh, too. Bad enough looking at Trump. No, I don't need to see two of them. They're kind of shaped the same, aren't they? And nowadays, yeah. You're like big, but with dark jackets draped over them. Cover up them guts, yeah. They don't even look like they're wearing jackets. They look like James Brown during the encore. Like somebody just draped that jacket over them. It's like patting them on the shoulder, walking them off stage. Yeah. But they don't have the energy to turn around and come back, so they just keep going off stage, take a nap. Did James Brown ever do that? The older he got, did they ever like put the cape on him and uh, they're waiting for him to turn around and come back and sing and do the splits, but he just keeps going like... I know, he was professional. Start showman. the car. He never did miss anything. He was always... He was professional. Show business. Day Donald Trump said... Uh, Jet Mayor Jack, I'd like to get your thoughts on this. Uh, Donald Trump said, Air Force One, Boeing, doing a number on us. Cancel order. You don't want a new Air Force One. Yeah. He ain't gonna use the one that there is. You think he go? He go? He already got a helicopter. His own. He probably looked at Air Force One and said, "This is crappy, shitty." Yeah, I got the big screen table. You know everything he need. Why he ain't gonna use none of it? Where's the Arby's? I got Arby's on my plane. Yeah. There's no Arby's on this, huh? I like 
damn LBJ had a, a fresca dispenser. I got a horsey sauce dispenser on my plane. What's this? Got no horsey sauce dispenser? Why don't you take this shitty ass 30 year old plane and dump it in the goddamn river? Because hey, Trump flies first class on his own plane. Every time I get on this plane, I the girl I got working the front, she says, uh, ticket please. And I say, first class all the way, baby. And we laugh. Yeah. That's what Trump says. I can't keep up with what else you did. Why did uh, Why did Bob Dole tell him to answer? Now China's all mad. Well, I, I'm not saying that's what they're saying. Is Bob? You can look at it on the phone. I saw it not too long ago. Said the old Bob Dole's the one that put him up to this. And now they could be just dragging Bob Dole out in their wheelchair just to, you know. Why you know, would they want to humiliate Bob well, Dole? Because they're going to blame it on somebody. They don't, you know, scare, Trump scared the hell out of everybody. Start with the oldest and work our way down. There you go. Or he, or he did it. I don't know. Why would he listen to Bob Dole? That don't make any sense. I, I, does Trump even know who Bob Dole is? He might remember him, but I don't. I don't see how. I could read this article. Politico Dole lobbied Trump's team on Taiwan see, for months. Yeah. So months. either. Much. How, he been doing it for much. There's no way he Bob just, Dole thought it, Trump was going to win months ago. No. Hell no. That's a bunch, that's, that gives itself away right there. Bob Dole ain't going to waste no energy like that. He knew damn. Bob Dole didn't think he'd be alive months ago. Yeah, that's true. Sure, a hundred-year-old man getting us in a nuclear war with China. Funny joke, old man. I don't give a fuck what happens to him. Their time's over. Watch your math now. Serves him right. Oh, he's still mad. Every every Saturday, you gotta hear him complain. Now somebody says tweet tweet on that. Every Saturday comes around, he's gonna be mad at actors. S- I thought you meant Bob Dole. Oh, no. He, How would he even? He got mad. He didn't say nothing about it, I guess. There's plenty of people, I'm sure, saw them mocking him and got mad and just, you know, they, you know, knew better. Does Bob Dole hold his cell phone instead of a pen now? I think it's still a pencil pen. Seems like they'd update that look for him. He wouldn't know how to use it. Trump mad at Saturday Night Live every time there's a new episode. I wonder if he watches the reruns, too. He'd probably sit there and watch it over and over again and get mad as hell. I heard, I think it was at Harvard, they had this event, Mayor Jackie, where after the campaigns, you get the staff of the Republicans and staff uh, of the yeah. Democrats, they get together. And they, they got mad at one another, yeah. They do a little post-mortem and they talk about it and they're all kind of chummy. That's probably where... James Carville and Mary Matlin first fucked. Hey, what? Just I don't know their story. Where did that I happen? I don't care where it happened. I don't where want to did hear that... about it. I don't want to hear about James Carville do nothing. Where did he first come here? Just come here. Get. I don't want to hear it. I want to kiss on the back of your neck. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear it. Where did that first? Where did they start rubbing on each other first? Just you, enough. You think? There was a closet somewhere. It may have been at Harvard. This time, though, there wasn't no rubbing. I'm sure after it was over, Corey Lewandowski rubbed one out. I'll shut your mouth. But as it was happening, there was just some uh, some gloating, some accusations of, of racism. It sounded like a good, it was a good show. I, wish, I kind of wish I'd been there. Would you go to Harvard to watch people yell at Kellyanne Conway? I, if I could see it on TV, no. Or would you go to Harvard to watch Kellyanne Conway make Democrats mad? I don't know which is better. It's a win-win situation as far as what side you on watching that. So, you know, but I, I wouldn't want to go there. I just turn it, if it put it on TV, I'd turn it on, watch it for a little bit. What, 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 yeah. I don't know how long of much of that you need. 
but I get five minutes of it. How? What is Hillary Clinton's campaign manager? He's got a funny name. Can't remember what it is. Who? Her? Robbie Mook. Mook. Is that his name? I, Ranch hell, I don't Priebus. Know. Robbie Mook. Corey Lewandowski. That's not funny. Kellyanne Conway. They all sound like made up names. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. Kellyanne Conway sounds like. Like she works here in Murfreesboro somewhere. Yeah. When they all got up there, got to fushing, trying to talk to them back and forth. She said, Tell, you going to say that in my face? I'm, I ran racist. I let white supremacists in the, like, yeah. I don't know what happened then. I guess she said, okay, I just want to make sure. I didn't know if you. That's, that is what happened, right? Sure. What if that was a moment where Kellyanne Conway just had to realize that, like, she'd just been working so hard to get Trump that she never stopped to think, and then all of a sudden she just had that, what have I done? Oh, my God, what have I done? If, if that hadn't happened yet, I guarantee you it's going to happen at some point. Of course, it may have happened about eight times already, so. Where, where does she go now? She she on the staff yet? She ain't been named nothing. She up there with him. She going to be helping him do something. What? It's Mitt Romney. Are they through toying with him yet? What? I don't know. Sarah Palin got mad. I to see that. They were floating her name to do something for the vets. She said that was crony capitalism. Yeah, she got mad. Yes, yeah, she got in there on that care thing. So with something, I guess she thought you have to make him mad first before he'll talk to you. Maybe. Her timing's a little off. I think well, that was supposed to have happened as, before. You know, but yeah, probably. And that picture of him and Romney for the frog legs come. The internet is good for some things, like awful pictures of Mitt Romney. Are they good ones? I mean, sometimes he doesn't look like his soul's being yanked out through his asshole. Hey. That may be what they preach in Mormon churches. I don't know. I don't know what happens after you die. I mean, does anybody really know? That it may be what happens in real life. It ain't that. Don't talk it way. That may be what happens in real life. So Sarah Palin, she might not be bad. Look, I don't want to second guess Donald Trump or Piotis. But I just want to say, she may be, it might be like if you crossed, you know that in Awakenings when they put everybody on the van and they drive them out and they like let them see the sides to get a breath of fresh air? It might be like that, only more of a party bus atmosphere yeah. with her kids in there too fighting. Like she shows up at the VA, come on everybody, we're going, we're going to the mall. I can't do Sarah Palin. Like she needs to pick up some sweaters well, that'd be sweet take take them all out like that she'd be good at that i tell you who's gonna be good is a good doctor you what you wait and see about him uh, urban development all that stuff what <laughs> you think he's gonna be a good uh he's he put his he fingers in people's brains and pulled them out and the people still think they thought, thought better after they did it so he ain't no dummy what does he have to do? What does his job entail? I really don't know. I don't know the first thing about that stuff. I, as mayor, I should probably have a clue, but that's something I'm going to look into. I'll find out. Does he have to build houses? Yeah, maybe tell him where to build them or something like that. It's housing development. Still no Secretary of State. That's been the tough one. The other ones he made pretty quick. Just, you know... So who are our choices for Secretary of State? It's uh, uh Giuliani, <laughs> uh, Mitt Romney. I, you know, <laughs> I just stop there. I don't. Petraeus. Don't want a list. Petraeus. Now that come on with the email thing, that's just them making fun, right? They're just making, they're just joking around, right? Hell, I don't making know. people mad. I hell. Do you think Donald Trump owns stock in Twitter? Like, so he just says something like, like maybe he gets paid by how often people tweet. So he gets on there and says like, uh, Petraeus. And then like, Twitter just lights up. Half yeah. the, 
I don't understand it otherwise. I don't know what's happening. There's no explanation for some of this. And I don't know how people won't stand up to him and say that's wrong and all this. I don't know what you do because you, you can ignore him. As some people say, just his big baby, just ignore him. But if you ignore him, he may do something even crazier. So you can't ignore him. But then when you, you give him, you know, punch a bunch of gasoline on the fire, then he, then he, get, he, get, he get, gets you right where he wants you. He wants you everybody wild, riled up. That's what he did. He went around the country, went into, what are you, with stadiums or buildings everywhere, and got people mad, riled up. Now he wants to do that to the whole country. And all he got to do is hit a few buttons on a computer, and there it goes. So we don't know if he's an idiot or if he's just mean, if he's living moment by moment. Obviously, he just sees stuff on TV, and that makes him mad. And he starts, like, that's his policy. Yeah. Of course, he forget probably what it put out there the day before if people didn't scream at him what it was about. But I'm telling you, he's enjoying every bit of this. That's what he likes. If everybody's talking about him, then he's happy. But if he, I guess if he didn't give him any attention and nobody paying attention to him, he'd want attention and do something really, really, really terrible. So I don't know. Just buckle down and get ready for it. Hey, look at his cabinet. They all look like, what do they look like? It's, uh, it's the worst. Just, there's a Flynn. Sessions. That's, that right there, that's enough to be bad. You don't really need more, and they keep going on. Dr. Ben Carson, I think he'd do good, though. I'm pulling for Dr. Ben Carson. I want him. He's probably the only one out of the bunch that just ain't mean about something. I'd say that. I like every time they interview Pence and they try to nail him down on something. I don't know how many times I've heard, like, on the radio, like, talk to Pence, and, and he's just like... Well, I don't know how many times Pence has to go. Well, he he got four years of that, or until uh, Trump gets impeached. What do you think that Trump, uh, Mr. Vice President? So Trump himself went into damn uh, pizza place after all this happened. Trump went. In, he got a a replica Lucille bat from Dan Walker Dead. Went in the pizza place and said, "Okay, kids, you're free." And started swinging a bat around. This is like three weeks after the the shooter went in there. Mike Pence, what do you have to say about that? Well, look, I know how the media likes to play the look. The glass is half empty i like to look at it as that there were no child sex slaves in there i think that's a win for america whenever there are no child sex slaves seems to me like america is finally becoming great again yeah now we can't say i well i don't know for sure but we can't go back in time but it's very possible when obama was president there were child sex slaves in there this is a distraction. This are you just trying to distract me. He likes to say that a lot. The president in there with that baseball bat trying to free child sex slaves is not the issue. The issue is jobs. The issue is uh, making America great again. And Carrier, what do you think about damn Carrier, uh, well, well, first time I heard about it, I said, well, good. That's something good. You know, we'll try to give you, have a little hope, try to have something. And then it come out that Mo, he didn't really do that many and just gave him big tax breaks. And now, just, you know, everybody got to let all the employees and the union says most of them still going to Mexico. So I don't really know what it did. I, just, I, guess, I wonder if, if he is saving jobs, if he had, gets a list of everybody who works there and he just picks the 700 he wants to save based on looks. Could be. Or by the name. Her, her, him. Not so much this guy. Where's he from? Her, her. Not him, not him. Not we don't him. know how it works. That's, that could be it. No idea how not that him. works. He's just disgusted. Is this how real people look? Trump says. Jesus Christ, am I the president of these people? 
Am I the president of these white globs? Send them to Mexico. Get them out of here. I don't want to look at them. Well, well, people are saying, if they say this, this way, people are saying, well, no, Bernie Sanders mad as hell. So it's at least it's kind of funny to see Bernie Sanders get mad over something, you know. I, honestly, Bernie Sanders, any time I look at him, I can't tell whether he's happy or mad. It's the same to me, but when he gets to ranting and raving and throwing his hands around. Do you think, you think Donald Trump could have beat Bernie Sanders? Of course he could have. Because it was close with Hillary Clinton. It was it was close. She's ahead by like, what, 8 yeah, million votes something now? Something like that just keeps going up. Yeah. 8 million hippies. But now Trump says he would have campaigned in all, all them states and it would have been a different If he'd have gone election. there, yeah. And, and a lot of illegal voting went on. Supposedly. Oh, right, and all the illegal voting. Don't forget voting. that, so. But no, Trump would have beat. The fact that Trump won means he could have beat anybody. That's it. That that that. It, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But if you can make up something about Hillary having sex slave children in a pizza parlor, Lord knows what you could make up about Bernie Sanders. What? How does that even? What is that? So where's this coming? So there's a mistrust of the media. Yeah. So nobody believes anything. But you believe the crazy stuff. But you believe the crazy stuff because you're discovering that on your own. Is that how conspiracy how theories work? How did somebody work? discover that on their own? First off, I don't know first thing about get on a computer. <laughs> what do you, how do you discover that? You get on a computer and say, I wonder if Harry Clinton is running a, a sex thing with children in a pizza I'm place? How you, do you find that? If you start going down the hole... Jackie, so what to speak. hole is it? So I to don't... Speak. The hole where they keep the kids. Oh, such a No, if you mind. start going down the hole and you start looking at this, these people are really, I mean, they're, they really think they're doing, they're, they're saying things like, okay, here comes the media. The media's going to, ba- they're bearing down on us, folks, but you got to stick together because this is about the kids. Like, they really think they're helping the kids. Yeah. They think nobody believes the media, so they believe the media is all in it to cover up the track. So, like, nothing the media. So the media telling them they're wrong just makes them think they're righter. Yeah. There's no answer to it. Man. We'll be caught in this. I'll be living my dying days in this mess. This is what it's going to be. And I'm going to stay off a damn computer right now, I'm telling you. They say the fake news thing, they're saying, that you know, it's funny. Uh, right when these emails come out and people start talking about Pizzagate, that's when the media comes up with this fake news label. And then they start calling CNN fake news. The mainstream media is fake news. But they're the real news. The Hillary Clinton sex scandal news. Sex ring. Children's sex ring news. I don't read no news like that. And the people are saying, look, I, you know, all I'm saying is if you look at the emails, something's a little off. I don't see how you go from John Podesta is bad at writing emails to Hillary Clinton child sex slave ring. I just... Whoever is the fake news person who pulled that off, my hat is off to them because I am having a hard time keeping up with this fake news. I can't outpace can't outpace it. I it's, can't imagine the type of person sit on a computer all day and that's all it to read. It's just crazy things. That's yeah. going to make you crazy. Of course, people say movies make people crazy. A video go, video gums, computer games make people crazy. But if you, if there's actual crazy stuff out there for them to get to, I, Yeah, I don't know. Me either. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know what to say anymore. I'm through. Yeah. Well, thanks for spending the time with us, Mayor Jackie. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, I want to make sure my constituents, you know, I hope they listen, and I hope I won't make them feel safe even in all this chaos. So 
They try to do the best we can. Hopefully they're just a bunch of idiots and they won't be able to get the thing, you know, some of this crazy stuff done. Some of it they are. It's going to be bad for some people. I say it right now. It's going to be bad for a lot of people for, for a while, but maybe we'll get through it. Hell, I don't know. I feel like we're in a transformational time, but I don't know if we're going to come out after the transformation if it, we're going to be like Teen Wolf. Wow. Like, learn to live with our powers and shoot basketball real good. Wow. Or like Benicio Del Toro, Wolfman, just uncontrollable lust oh, that's a, you terror. Me, that new Wolfman, he's mean, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know where where we're all going to end up. Well, hopefully I'll be dead in the ground for everybody to turn into wolf. I, I don't mind missing that. See, I'm too old to understand any of it. I know it's changing and things will change, and I don't understand the first thing about it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I don't really understand what's happening now either. We may yeah. be. We're, we're living in a world where. I, I I don't even. I mean, I can't even say it again. Like the new the people don't believe any of the news. No. Nope. Like if you listen to Fox, you don't believe CNN or MSNBC. Now, if you on Reddit, you think the people on Fox are just as bad as the damn. They're covering up their own. I saw that. Listen, if you think this is just Democrats, Republicans are in on this sex child ring, too. Ah. Pizza place. Oh. Is there not a better? Why a pizza place? That Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. I remember when that was confusing. I couldn't understand. You go in there and sit down, and with the first time those little curtains opened up, it's about to scare the hell out of me. I didn't know what it was. Kids crying. Yeah. It takes away, you know, it, it, new things take a while people to adjust to. Remember, they had to go in and tinker with the uh, showbiz people at first. It, well, they were scary at first, and then they did have that thing. Where, it was showbiz is Chuck E. Cheese well, later. Because they thought that they needed to teach kids not to, to wander up on stage. Yeah. So they had those, like, the, the they'd sing some songs, and then there'd be a break, and they'd tear a kid apart. But it, it was in a playful, funny way. Well, like, ah, ah, ah. The youngins would get up there and start jerking wires out of them monsters, you know. Yeah, they, so they had expensive. to teach them to they stay. Well, yeah. Stay and eat the pizza. Yeah. Remember that some of their songs were like that, like, Sit down and eat your pizza. Sit down and eat your pizza. I remember, because I, you know, I had niece, nephew, things like that years, years ago. They'd take, you know, go birthday party. I know somebody go to Chuck E. Cheese. And I like a pizza. I always like a taste of the pizza. But uh, all the games just sound like a bunch of noise. You get in there and, yeah, soon them curtains open up. Yeah, you say, sit down and eat your pizza. You better be acting right. Something, you know. Yeah, so they had to tone that down. So. Yeah. I mean, it takes a long. I remember the first time you seen Dig Dug. And like, what the hell? Yeah. What is it? I still don't really understand that. I'll be honest. You inflate a lizard? What is it? Underground? Shit, man. I don't know. They've yeah. been fucking with us for a long watch time. Your watch Maybe your them mouth. Maybe them Redditors are right. Just watch it. Card to you we will send if a 
Dick Dugs. That's a pretty good podcast. I didn't know what was it. Didn't know what that blowing up lizards. I don't know what any of that is. Was it a good podcast? Has he beaten us? Has Trump already beaten us? He, he won. What? I don't even know how to... I don't even know what we're supposed to do now. I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do. I, 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 talking on this ain't doing anybody any good. Tell you that right now. Oh, man. We should get Bob Dole to talk to us. I'd not talk to him. You better hurry up on that. But, you know, I'd like to, you know, have a thing to talk about him. I'd like to see what's behind this Taiwan stuff. If he, But he, maybe that's what he says to everybody. That's true. He said you got to get Taiwan, him. Taiwan calls, you got you to gotta pick up the phone. It could be something. He could be on loop for all we know. That's true. Oh, Mr. Dole, Senator Dole, good to see you. If Taiwan calls, you got to pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Yeah. Taiwan calls, you got to pick up the phone. Here, we're going to put on the music of your youth. Yeah, let's put these, slip these headphones on for you. Yeah, Taiwan calls. I think I'm doing Beavis. Who? Instead of Bob Dole. Beavis Dole? Some, somebody had to have done a t-shirt of that in 1996. Beavis what? Dole? Fire, fire. Taiwan, Taiwan. Fire, Taiwan. You're fired. Taiwan, you're fired. Relevant.